All right, welcome to Ask EJ episode number 24. All right, uh, cool. Let's do three questions. Hit it. All right, Mike out of CX Falls, South Dakota. What? CX? Is it, how do you pronounce Sioux that? Sioux Falls? Is that S I O U X? Is that Sioux Holy Falls? Holy crap, do they not even, they don't even go over vocabulary words in California, do they? Dude, if it was in Spanish, I got it no problem. Come on, fish taco. Let's go. All right. Uh, EJ, or uh, Mike asks, EJ, what light is on your EDC pistol? Hmm. Right now, it is the Surefire X, XC1. That is what's on there right now. So. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, would you like me to elaborate on it? That's what I'm running, XC1. We'll see, you know, how it goes. Cool. I mean, it's the lowest profile that's out there right now. The one issue that I have with it, well, first of all, it can be a little, a little tedious to get on. Uh, but the issue that I have is on the ergonomics, okay? So... You know, like on a TLR one, uh, you know, your your trigger finger can actuate the well. I'm not an engineer, but the lever, I guess, up uh, and down. Okay, so I think it's down is all the way on, or anyway, one of those is. I think up is. Is momentary on and if you do it like twice then the strobe dealio comes on and then one way is always on I have to have it in my hand uh, to, to know for sure anyway it's all done with that finger of course you know it's ambi so you could do it with the other finger if you needed to the thing about the XC1 is you get your momentary on with the finger but then it's a push button on uh, I'll say on a right-handed shooters on your support hand, you know the hand that doesn't work side that you have to actually push across. It's like a crossbar switch on it, uh, and so it's it's going to take some conscious thought for me right now in my training to get the uh, constant on to come on because I'm going to have to remember to do it with my thumb. Uh, to push the bar because I've, I'm so used to doing both with the trigger finger. So that's the only thing. Um, I mean, it could be the greatest thing since sliced bread, and then it's just I've, been, I've got training scars. But right now that's what I see is having to remember to push it with this thumb. Uh, so... But as far as profile, it's good. You know, it's no really no wider than the slide, and uh, it's got a 200 lumen LED light on it. So we'll see. The jury is still out. I need to run it in some force on force as well as continue to shoot it. Um, and let's see. But so far, so good. You know, it's kind of like. How's your woman? Well, she looks good on the first date, but I'm not married to her yet. Let's see what happens when the date face comes off. Does she fart in the bed or not? <laughs> then you know you got to keep her. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, let's go. Uh, I took that one way out. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Uh, all right. Number two comes from Jason out of Dupo, Illinois. Dupo? Dupo, D U P O. Can't mess that one up. We'll find out. We'll find, yeah. Uh, if AR type rifles were to get banned, do you think the parts to complete strip lowers would also be banned? I doubt it. I mean, there is no limit to what the uh, Communist Party, I mean the Democratic Party, will do to firearms. Uh, however... As it stands right now, if I was Nostradamus, then my quatrain would read, they would probably just ban the rifle.
rifles themselves or things that look like a rifle or things that have parts of from a rifle um, but the actual selling of you know said trigger or spring I'm not saying it's impossible but I don't see it in the near future but I don't know you know it's like in order to get the real answer for that you'd probably need to go to some dirty old single wide trailer home with the palm reading neon sign outside of it and see what that lady says for 450 bucks <laughs> <laughs> and and your identity I, I kind of doubt it right now, but I wouldn't put anything past them. They're probably watching this video right now and going, that's a great idea. But I don't see it in the near future. All right? So when you say your prayers at night, whether you like Trump or not, pray that he wins. So then the demise of liberty is just slow. It's, it's not coming tomorrow. It's not imminent if Hillary wins. Lesser of two evils. All right. All right. Number three comes from Tim out of Columbia, Tennessee. Oh, a Tennessee boy. Yeah. I wonder if he's a Volunteers fan. I don't know. Maybe he'll write in and find out. Maybe. Given your recommendation for using a rifle caliber for home defense, should you choose to shoulder something in defense inside the home? What do you recommend for hearing protection, noise mitigation, when a suppressor is not available, strategies for staging hearing protection. Uh, electronic hearing pr protection. Get good electronic hearing protection. Like, if you're going to spend some money, spend it on that. Um, there are several really good companies that make really good ear pro. And then just put it on your rifle, hang it on your rifle. Like for me, my shotgun has electronic hearing pro hanging on it so that you just put it on, flip the switch, and you rock and roll. Uh, hey, I know what I'll do. I'll take a picture of it and put it on Snapchat tonight. When I go home, I'll take a little pic pic and you can see how I've got mine set up. So we'll do that. But yeah, dude, you just gotta put it you know, on the rifle. However you're gonna do it. I mean, if you're gonna put it in the uh, in the safe, you know, or you've got a staging area, you got a little shelf made up for it, you got a little pillow it sleeps on, whatever, however you've got it, the hearing pro needs to, the ear pro needs to be right by it, on it, just laying on it so that you can access it. That's, I mean, that's the only way you're really gonna get it when it hits the fan, is it's right there in front of your face. And then being electronic, you know, obviously you can hear. Now, that doesn't mean everybody else in your house is going to be able to hear because you said, you know, you don't have a suppressor on it or a suppressor is not available. So it's going to be a little loud to the point where you're going to have to use some, some hand and arm signals like you stay, you come to me, you get down. Very basic. You don't have to go all... Jason Bourne on it, you know, or like that old Vietnam movie, Tour of Duty. Did you ever see that? No. The TV show, Tour of Duty. Oh, that's a good movie, a yeah. good TV show. I like that. That's back when they, they made really good TV shows. And Kit Knight Rider. Did you ever see that? I know Knight Rider. A Team. A Team. What about Fox and Fox? It's an old detective. No, no. Fox Dad and, Fox. and Son. No. Nope. Mm. You ever watch Burn Notice? Yeah. I just binge watched season twelve. I <laughs> love Burn, Burn Notice. It's awesome. It's great. I mean, it's cheesy, but it's oh, funny. Yeah. I like it. It's good stuff. Everything you want to know about being a spy. Plus, Ooh. that chick's super hot. I like, and she can change accents. Oh yeah. Oh my like, god. I never thought of an Irish accent like that until I'm like, mm, that could work. Only in South Beach. <laughs> Mama, what's your Irish accent sound like? That's horrible. Don't do that again. <laughs> Send her some classes. All right, is that three? That's three. Cool. Well, good. Those are some good questions. Keep sending them in, and uh, we'll see if we can get to them. All right. Uh, a lot.
like the ones that you say, here's your question and here's why. Not just, do you like this or do you like that? You know, very generalized, you know. What if I'm doing this and that happens and blah, 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 blah. No, here's what I got. Here's why I'm asking it. And here's what I'm looking for. What type of answer I'm looking for. All right, good. So check out Snapchat. Dude, we've had so many people start following on Snapchat. Stupid, absolutely ridiculous question. That's awesome. My hippie over here posted one of the Snapchat stuff on YouTube. Um, so that's good. supposed to be Snap for Snapchat, <laughs> but he put it on YouTube, so you can get an idea of what's going on over there. You're welcome, YouTube. Oh man. Uh, yeah. Did I look mad in that video? I could. Mm. Could do I think there was just that. you at the end. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, good. So, uh, you know, continue to uh, pass these videos around, see if we get some more subscribers. That'd be awesome. Um, appreciate you guys viewing them and, and commenting on them. Uh, some of those comments are, are ridiculously funny. You know, it, it makes my day to see some of those comments. I enjoy it. Uh, and then... Like I say, keep your questions coming. Also, check out the radio show. Check out our web store. Get you some 2A support products. Um, nothing else. Get you a, our Second Amendment support decal. Uh, and if you're a member of the Sheepdog Society, you'll see it because I oh, just did a, a shop talk out at my truck, and you can see it on the on the truck. Uh, you could become a member of the Sheepdog Society. It's like 33 cents a day. It's like like less than 10 bucks a month. And you get everything we've ever done and all the new stuff that's coming out. we got some new stuff from Mike Seeklander coming out, uh, Mike Janik that's coming out. So we're real excited about that. And then um, don't forget to continue to support what we do, man. I appreciate it. Uh, it's nice to see you guys following us and, and, and watching and, and your comments. Uh, oh, by the way, so I was going to tell you, I had a good little snap chat chat I guess would you call it snapchat <laughs> chat uh, with Nicholas and Wisconsin and he said that uh, Nicholas if you're watching what's up bro uh, he said he is about to graduate from his law enforcement uh, degree with his law enforcement degree and he wanted to uh, let me know that he was strongly considering becoming an instructor later on down the road so I will say this to you Nicholas not that you ask, but I'll give you some words of advice. Listen to your students. They'll tell you everything you wanted to know about what is wrong and what is right. Listen. Uh, a lot of instructors like to get up there and talk, and it becomes more of a, a monologue. Get to know your students and work with them to accomplish their goals. Uh, you may have a set you know, curriculum for your class, but each person has a reason why they've come to that class. Ask and then do a lot of listening. It'll help you understand who you're working with and how you can help them better. So, they're my word of advice, but welcome to the fold. Good job. Yeah. I've been getting a lot of, just now what do you call them, Snapchat chats, I guess. Messages, Snapchat yeah. messages. That's cool. So I try to respond to as many as I can. Um, and that's cool. You know. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on next episode. As always, stay alert and practice often.